right, not sharks, but crabs. Uh, yeah, this could be different and interesting, uh, but let's see. Let's see what the IMDb plot has to say. A horde of murderous crab monsters, okay, uh, descend on a sleepy coastal town on prom night, and only a ragtag group of outcasts can save the day. All right, uh, liking that, liking that summary there. This could be uh, some good stuff here. Um, all right, so this one uh, came out, uh, it says 2021, but I, you know, that might have been when they made it, but I think it may have, I don't know, it just seems <laughs> like longer ago than it was. Um, but I, I really wanted to see it, but but completely missed it and whatever, and I was flipping through Tubi the other day and uh, saw it was on there, and I was like, all right, let's put this on, you know, uh, I don't care, you know, what's going to happen here, I want to see this. I know I had wanted to see it back when it, you know, had its release and didn't. So uh, I'm glad I finally got a chance to, to catch this one. Um, so, you know, I don't know how many of you out there saw it, saw it when I guess it, it released. I don't even know where it released. I, I remember uh, sharing it. I think it's Raven's Banner that, that put puts it out. So I remember, you know, sharing, you know, retweeting or posting on Facebook or whatever about it. Uh, but I guess I missed wherever it landed. So, uh, anyway, it is on Tubi. That's where I watched it. So for, for those who are on, uh, Tubi or use that to watch, uh, some movies, um, and you're interested in this one, uh, that's where you can find it. Um, I'm glad I, I found it. I really wanted to see this. So, uh, yeah, basically, you know, it is not, you know, the typical crabs, you know, with, what is it? Eight legs, six legs, whatever, claws, um, these are more of the, the horseshoe kind of crabs, kind of. Um, so, you know, I, I take that, you know, to, to kind of start, even though um, these did seem to have some claws. So I, I didn't know that they did, or I, I don't know. I don't, you know, I know a lot about sharks, but <laughs> my crabs, I guess I, I don't know as so much about. Uh, so, um, it's those kind of crabs that, that kind of gives you a, a hint there. And, and, you know, I don't really know how they did the movie or not, but, you know, they're, they're, you know, they're small kind of, or not terribly small, but, you know, they're small enough and they're kind of in a shell and have this, like, long horn tail. Um, and I was just thinking as, as I kind of saw in a couple of scenes and kind of going around, I'm like, there has to be, like, either it has wheels under there or just on top of a remote car. I don't know. Um, that's just how I'm guessing they did it. They may or may not have done it. I, I don't know. Um, but it just seemed funny, and, and I was just like, you know, that just came, kind of came to mind. So uh, that's kind of the crab we start off with um, before we really get into the, the craziness. And, um, you know, uh, I was thinking, just thinking of spoiler-free or not. Uh, you know, I mean, I, I, I don't know. I, I think that this is just a, a fun movie. You just kind of, kind of let it go, uh, let it make kind of fun of itself and... and uh, I don't think you can take it too seriously. So I don't know there's, you know, huge twists or turns or I'm spoiling anything. But, um, you know, I, I guess I'll try to keep it kind of, sort of. Um, anyway, um, yeah, so you have what, you know, what they kind of set up as this, like, nuclear explosion or whatever. So that's, you know, the small explanation to why, you know, these crabs are, are now gone from, you know, probably just creatures that go around doing I don't know what uh, to murder crabs, especially trying to kill people. And, uh, so you get a, a good opening scene, you know, you get that kind of introduction, then you get an opening scene of two people on the beach and, you know, they're, they're doing the Friday the 13th thing, having sex there. And, you know, that's not called for, you can't do that in a horror movie, so you must die. So here comes the crab and they you know, they're uh, looking at the crab and that's kind of distracting them from the moment. And uh, long and behold, yeah, the, 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 the crab is, is going to uh, end them uh, pretty quickly. So uh, that's the, the fun way that this movie kind of gets off to a start. And um, from there, we kind of get the usual introductions to, to some of the characters. Um, you're going to find the sheriff and his deputy. It's a little bit more follows the deputy who has a brother and the brother's kind of got a handicap. He can't really walk. He's in a wheelchair. Um, but he's kind of doing this interesting thing where he's trying to build himself some like mechanical legs and, and or, or things to put on his legs so that he can walk. And the one thing I didn't get is they, they kind of use this weird blue like crystal kind of thing and 
I, I don't know if I wasn't paying attention to that point or, or what was going on with that, but I guess uh, either it had some power or something unusual with it. Maybe it was from the nuclear thing. I don't know. Um, yeah, I, I think, you know, him and he's got a, a really good friend who's a, a girl. Uh, you know, they, they kind of stretch the border of, you know, being friends or being more than friends. I, you know, I don't know. Um, but, you know, they kind of fall into the mischief of, of that and, and building things. So they're really close. And um, then her mom is a teacher in the school, which makes things a little awkward for the two of them, uh, but also knows his brother. So you get all that kind of connection there and whatever. So you get a crazy scene there where they're, they're in the school and, and, and uh, you know, it's, it, they're in that age where, you know, you're dissecting creatures. And, uh, yeah, they're dissecting an interesting creature or two. I'll leave it for you guys to see. But I was like, what? You don't dissect that. What are they doing? Uh, but anyway, uh, that was kind of fun. Um, you get a, a, you know, you get a little glimpse of, of kind of going back to the crabs and then, and then this kind of setting up the characters and whatever. Um, you know, I was kind of, you know, as the, as the movie kind of started to get into it and move towards the middle half, I was kind of like, oh, I want to see more crab, you know, I want to see more crab killing, and, and, and um, you know, they show the aftermath of one thing the crabs did, and uh, I'll leave that out, um, and then you kind of see the crabs where, where they might, you know, be lurking around, and, and they might kill a person here or there, but, you know, I, you know they're really kind of keeping it easy, and I'm like, you know, after the beginning, you're like, I want to see more of this crab <laughs> killing, uh, but you kind of get rolling into to the characters and what they're doing and what they're up to and, and so forth. Um, I will say they make up for it because it gets a little crazier as the film goes on. So you, you may have to, you know, I was, I guess I'm a little anxious there. I, I want to, you know, I want to see these crabs go at it and, and go after people. Uh, but I guess you have to be a little bit patient there until the, you know, the, the chaos comes. And uh, probably the, the best character, the character that stands out is this guy. I, I, I don't know, his name started with an R, I think. But he's like European or, or something like that. He's got a funny accent. He's not from America, obviously. Uh, he's having a little trouble kind of, um, you know, adapting to it, but he, you know, there's kind of, he, he kind of is awkward in that and, and kind of adapting to the American culture or whatever. And he's got this weird accent and he just does things a little bit different. And at first you're just like, oh, well, he's going to die real early in the film. Uh, but then he actually becomes a character that's pretty funny and is going to have some really good moments in it. Um, so... You know, while you have, you know, some of the more serious characters, I mean, even the brother that, that's kind of the deputy, you know, uh, might not be the, the sharpest tool in the shed to at least start. He gets a little bit better as the movie goes on. Uh, but, you know, so you, you do have a little bit of that comment, but he's definitely the comic relief of this film uh, and definitely a standout character. I, I really enjoyed his funniness. And uh, even as the, the credits roll, he's going to be singing a crab song. So uh, if you kind of enjoy the movie or still want to put up with the, oh, at least the, the beginning of the, the credits, uh, he's going to sing a song for you. So uh, stay tuned for that. Um, it just a, a song that really doesn't make any sense. It's kind of crazy, but it's just, it's just funny. If you like his character in the movie, stay tuned for that. And then at the, as the credits kind of roll. If not, then just shut it off. If you hate him, shut it off and that's it um anyway you know so the crabs are going to start you know it's, like i said it's going to pick up crabs are going to start killing people i'll see there's a prom to go to and uh you know kind of like carry this problem not going to end well and uh, you know it starts off kind of fun and uh then there's going to be crab after crab after crab and the crabs are going to crash the party and um you know they're not there to dance <laughs> Yeah, um, but, you know, kind of, you see that, like I said, the movie doesn't take itself seriously because you can see the crabs kind of and, you know, maybe adapt a human trait or two, and I'll kind of leave it at that, you know, maybe try to act like they're communicating and, and so forth uh, with people, but, you know, it, it's all not going to end well. Um, so that you kind of got to bear with that. Uh, you know, it's not you know, a, a serious, you know, you know, nature killing you movie. It is kind of a more, you know, we'll let things slide. Nature is killing you kind of movie, if that makes any sense. Um, 
so yeah, there's a crazy scene there in the prom, and that kind of really pushes the movie towards the end. Uh, um, as we see then, you know, a massacre with the prom and then a massacre in the streets. Finally, I'm getting my blood and my guts and all that good stuff that I want to see that I, you know, was like, Krabs is there. I want to see this movie. There's got to be some good blood and guts. Here it comes. Uh, you're going to get some, you know, a massacre. Then you get some craziness going on in the streets and, and it gets wild and crazy there. Uh, then it kind of, you know, kind of calms down for a minute and, uh, you know, then kind of, you know, most revisits this, you know, movie kind of thing that we always see, you know, like the, the, the people got, you know, we got to regroup and figure out how we're going to kill these monsters. And then, you know, we learn a little bit more about the crabs and, uh, you know, they, they say that there's three types. And like I said, there's the one and then there's some bigger ones and then there's some really big ones. Um, and then we get a very... You know, and I, I guess if I was going to spoil anything, and I don't know if they showed this in the trailer or not, but, or if you've seen it in the pictures or whatever, I, I'll just, uh, you know, this this is the, probably the only, t you know, what tip at a spoiler I'll get. I get, we get kind of, I'll say kind of in the ballpark, a Godzilla-like ending or battle or fight, and, and I'll just leave it at that to kind of end. And it just ups the ridiculousness of the situation and the movie and whatever. Like I said, it really does, it doesn't take itself too seriously. Otherwise, that would have never happened. Um, and it definitely wouldn't have happened in a more serious nature's killing you kind of movie. Um, so, yeah, it, it's going to go to those levels. So if you're kind of into, you know, something that's, you know, out there that you don't want to take too seriously, uh, that you're not really into, you know, you don't really seriously want, you know, just the crabs killing people and then that's kind of it, but you want them to kind of take it to another level of ridiculousness, uh, this might be the film for you. There is, like I said, there's blood and guts. Um, you know, there is maybe some moments there that you, you're going to have to kind of wait and kind of sort through the the, the characters kind of being introduced and, and that kind of thing. And, um, you know, don't get too anxious like I did and just, just wait for it to come. Because once it kind of hits prom moments, uh, you know, that that's the, the big moment of the, of the movie. And then it, there's just a bizarre ending, uh, which I didn't expect it to go to. Uh, I, I didn't know that that was coming. I think I was kind of tipped off either when I went to hit it on play or whatever, or maybe I saw a picture, um, whatever. So I was kind of tipped off that, that maybe something like that was coming. So now you're kind of tipped off. So, you know, we're all tipped off here. But, uh, uh, yeah, I, I guess that's it. I think they do a pretty good job. It's not, you know, perfect with all the special effects and, you know, whatever. Like I said, the, the crabs were, some of them probably were remote control, which was probably fun. Uh, but yeah, you, you just don't take it too seriously. And I think you really you will enjoy this movie. Yeah, this is definitely for, you know, a certain audience that enjoys these kind of uh, horror movies or, or, or this kind of hits home. The, I can see, you know, by others uh, who might not like this, you know, the people who like more serious horror movies and so forth, uh, you know, are probably not going to like this, probably not even going to watch this. So I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, but I'm going to give it three pools of blood. I liked it. I enjoyed it enough. Um, you know, would I give it higher? You know, probably not just because, you know, I, I, as much as I enjoy the craziness and, and that and whatever, you know, it is it is a little ridiculous. So I, I do take that into to, uh, effect here. But uh, I still enjoyed it regardless. I, I think, again, if you're into this kind of thing and whatever, um, I think you should watch it. Yeah, I think, you know, it, it, it'll be fun for you. Um, but yeah, if you're into more serious horror, you know, pass. Just, just don't do it. Uh, <laughs> you're not gonna be happy. Um, but yeah, you know, I take it for what it is, and, and realize that, you know, not all the scenes are the best acted or best done, and it is ridiculous in moments. But uh, still has some fun stuff. Love that European guy. He was great. Love the blood and guts, and you know, some of the crabs killings. Um, they do have a scene that that's very reminiscent of of Gremlins. Uh, you know, and. I wasn't sure how to take that. I really love Gremlins. It's definitely, you know, up there for me. And, uh, you know, I, I, you know, could appreciate it, but then was like, should I not appreciate it? Should I be mad that they're doing this? Um, but they do take a scene from Gremlins. I, I think uh, you guys will recognize it. I, I'll leave that for, again, something else for you guys to see and not spoil that. Um, but yeah, I was like, hey, wait a minute. This is Gremlins, but not with Gremlins, but with Crabs, what the hell? Um, so yeah, you know, a 50-50 on that. I, I can appreciate the, the weirdness of that, 
But then was like, you know, hey, I don't know, you know, if I want you messing with Gremlins, I don't know. Uh, at least it's not a remake, but... Uh, um, so yeah, Three Pools of Blood, uh, it, it, again, it, it's on Tubi, so uh, if you want to give it a try, uh, swing over there if, if you're on there, it is free, uh, to, to, so you can check that out. So uh, with that, that's Three Pools of Blood out of five um for crabs uh horror score reviews blogspot.com is where you can find all of my reviews uh written and video so definitely swing over there especially if you want to check out maybe some of the written stuff maybe you have to go back a little bit um but mostly video reviews as of late so you can like and subscribe and do everything that everybody wants you to do here on youtube um but if not no worries it is okay no no pressure here um twitter facebook information down below so you can join me there or not as well um talk about horror talk about this movie other movies something you want me to review and definitely in the comment section feel free to chime in there uh if you like this movie and maybe what do you think about that killer song at the end of this movie um but uh, yeah, with that, I guess I'll catch you on the next review, horror fans.